We are at Jitex Global 2023. This is me, Rabab Zehra from TechX Media. As a guest, I have with me Mr. Ben McDonald. He is marketing lead covering Middle East, Turkey, and Africa region at Dell Technologies. So let's speak with Ben and get to know more about Dell's Jitex participation and some uh, recent technologies uh, which are emerging. So let's welcome Ben on TechX Media. Hi Ben, how are you? Hello. Yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me here today. I'm very happy That's to be pleasure. here. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so Ben, we'll start with. Uh, we see that this year's Jitex theme is Imagine AI in everything. A lot of new technologies are emerging, be it metaverse, crypto, yes, uh, a yes, lot yes. of things are happening. So what do you think are the major challenges faced by IT professionals uh, um, with all these advances? Well, you mentioned the word AI. AI is like the hot topic at the moment. It's on everyone's, uh, everyone's lips right now. But at Dell Technologies, we see actually five key challenges that our customers are facing you know, mm -hmm. right now in how do they build their current and future IT uh, infrastructure. So AI is definitely one of them, and we can come back to that in a moment, but we see AI, uh, we see multi-cloud is still as, a, as a, a very interesting challenge and topic for our customers on you know, where their data is, is sitting. Uh, we see the workforce, as soon as we've all transitioned into this sort of hybrid workforce, that's the third challenge. Uh, the, the fourth challenge, is around uh, the edge and around where, again, where is data sitting? Uh, data is traditionally sitting in, say, a, in the cloud or maybe in a, a, a data center. But now we've got data sitting in all sorts of locations like trains and cars. And customers are wanting to use that data and interpret that data quickly, very, very quickly at the edge rather than the data going all the way back to a data center or back into the cloud. And then the, the, the fifth one, last but not least, is security. Now, security is still uh, a key topic for everyone today. Is no matter where their data is sitting, you've got to make it secure. So those are kind of like the five big challenges that we're seeing our customers focusing on right now. And going back to maybe the first one, which is around AI. Um, and what we're trying to do as a company is really help our customers understand what's out there, what do they need to do? I think as consumers, we've all played around with it a little bit right now. And we're wondering, you know, well, where is the technology going, you know, into the future? On our stand, we're showing, you know, a showcase of a little bit of every one of those five areas and how to address those five challenges. But we also have a generative AI chat GPT avatar on our stand as well that people can sort of interact with and ask questions and get some real-time responses, unscripted responses, um, uh, that give people an insight into, well, what is AI and what are some of the use cases for AI and how can they maybe use that within their organizations? And I think the key point right now is that we've got a good understanding of maybe what it is, but companies are trying to understand how can they use that in the enterprise to make them more competitive versus their uh, competitors in the market. And how do they serve their customers and how do they serve their employees better as well by embracing some of these new technologies. So that's kind of like the, the five key areas that we're finding as the challenges. And if anyone comes to the Dell Technology stand, we've got a team of experts that are going to talk them through all of these challenges and how Dell Technologies, of course, can actually assist them. So when you say with every problem, there comes a solution. Absolutely. So Dell Technologies is that solution. Of course, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, uh, but as I said, customers are looking for answers right now. They're looking for guidance mm -hmm. as well. And they're wanting to embrace new technologies. They're wanting to find better ways mm -hmm. to work, better ways to serve their customers mm -hmm. and to serve their own employees as well. And technology is obviously at the forefront of you know, of and, well. and I think more than uh, the solutions, customers don't know the challenges they are facing. They are not sure about it. So once they figure out the challenges, then they'll be able to find better solutions to that. Well, that's it. Yeah. Mm. As, as customers are sort of, you know, deep diving into, okay, how do I make my infrastructure more secure? Where do I store my data? How do I make my employees happy? Well, they're coming across these challenges mm. and they're certainly needing some advice on, do we go left? Do we go right? Yeah. Uh, you know, or, you know, where do we go? You know, with with this, and especially when there's emerging technologies, and like AI right now, as I said, it's a hot topic right now, and people want to understand more about it. 
Uh, they want to understand, well, what do they need to embrace it? And also, how can it help their organization um, as well? So one of the things that we've done at Dell, we just announced this in May, is that we've partnered with NVIDIA and we've created what we call reference architectures. So it's uh, allowing our customers to build some architecture, hardware, software, and also services if they're really wanting to go down you know, some of the AI routes today. And some of the use cases uh, that we're seeing around content creation, that's probably one of the things. And, and maybe that's, a, that's a, a risk for people in marketing or, or someone in the media now. Um, Gartner are predicting that by 2025, which is just a couple of years away, that as professionals in these industries, around about 50% of our time is going to be working with AI to create content. And it's not about AI replacing our jobs and making us redundant. And it's, it's easy to go all doom and gloom and thinking about like a Terminator scenario, but it's actually about us working with technology. So it's kind of like the partnership with humans and technology and machine and human relationships. And it's something like we've been talking about for years, actually. So people certainly shouldn't be afraid of AI. They should be embracing it, understanding it, and working out how do we work with it, not how do we figure out where we're going to replace humans with technology. That's that's uh, amazing. So uh, we are at Jitex Global, and uh, how important is Jitex uh, for Dell as a company? And um, uh, give us a little brief about your Jitex participation. Yeah. So Jitex is in its forty-third year, I believe, or season right now. We've just seen Jitex Africa in Morocco in May. We've just seen an exciting out announcement of Jitex Europe coming in twenty twenty-five yes. as well. And you very, can very see exciting. in this region that you know this region is buzzing. There's so much appetite for these global conferences and these global events. And you can see they're forecasting 180,000 people in here. So we're having lots of great conversations with current customers, future partners, future customers. So for us, this is you know one of our, our key uh, our key priorities of the year is to be at Jitex in the UAE. That's that's amazing. Uh, thank you so much for sharing this valuable information with us. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for hosting me. Thanks very much. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to TechX to know more about what is happening at Genetics Global 2023. Goodbye.